What is up guys and welcome to another Python 3 bit Kinter video. In this video we'll be seeing about how to create a uh, toolbar or a menu bar we can say it as. Uh, so let me show you like this one. This is a menu bar or toolbar whatever you can say. So let's begin with an example by importing Kinter. import star then we'll give a name to it kinter object okay providing a title decent one welcome it's not good and we provide a geometry come geometry of um, 300 into 300 then <clears throat> what we'll do is that we'll create a menu object for the main method menu to represent all the menu which we are going to put in that specific bar so for that will create an object or a variable menu is equal to the main method menu and we will link it to the root object of the kinter so it will be specifically over here and then we'll be configuring it with root it is something like a building built in function or a method config which we can use in any kind of manipulations menu so this is how you can create just a bar without any options over here just this one um, normal white color thing without any options like this one we'll just create something a plat a stage or something like that to put your options in it so now we'll come to options so we'll create another variable sub menus that is these menus file name edit etc and we'll link it or reference it to the main method of menu menu we don't need actually root over here because we have stored that particular attribute into menu so you just need to continue with by calling menu because it's stored in it and yes now we'll be doing menu dot add cascade It is also a type of default thing that you need to use it whenever you try to create a menu. Uh, provide a label file. Let's see what we have gained here by running the main loop. save it as give any variable and try to run so you can see this particular option is created but it cannot do anything because there is no sub menu within it so let's carry on with it and let's create a sub option within the option file so now we'll be doing is that we'll be calling this one sub menu because the file option is in the sub menu so sub m dot add command 
happen you just label it label is equal to you can call it as save save option and what you need to do is that you need to mention over here menu is equal to sub m right uh, that should be correct i guess save sorry save and run so you can see that this is a an option provided within the file and uh, yeah it's pretty doing the work but there is nothing you, if you click it there is no event handling operated in it so we'll see that later but this is how you can create a menu and a menu within a menu like file and save you can create various options within it and so let's create another option I will be seeing sub menu 1 is equal to menu now what we'll do is that menu and yeah then we'll create another add cascade that's pretty simple to create another option like besides file and label it provided tools and let's label that to with menu is equal to sub m this is for the option which will be available inside tools so close that and now you have to use sub m1 dot add command and label that too now what you want to keep inside tools so just uh, say it as draw I guess it's depending upon you yeah, and that's pretty good and save run okay there's a mistake sub m is not defined sorry it's not sub sub m sub m. that's okay hmm. so file and tools this is how you can create something like this whatever you want and now when it comes to um, providing an event handling thing or something when you click on that option what should it occur or yes yeah pretty much it so for that it's similar to button when we click on a button what actually happens is that when you click or some particular actions actions are performed so in this case also it is similar if you click on any either of these options like draw an action will be performed shall show you sorry uh, yeah so for that you need to create a function you say it is exit and what it should perform or you can say import in message box take into message box message box and what you can do is that or just leave it it will be too long and untidy so just keep a function exit and that's it now I'll just create a sub menu within this copy this one and sub m add exit save 
and what you need to do is that command is equal to exit that's it let's see what happens so exit exit that's pretty much of it it's just like another binding function you just need to create a function over here and put whatever you want in it and just write the command method is equal to the function name that's it it is similar to button just uh, be sure that it should be besides the main button or the option which you have created like this one that's it you can provide any kind of command to it it's upon your logic so that's it for menus and toolbars and thanks for watching this guys and in the next video i'll be showing you how to create a simple gui or something like an interface which you can interact but it, it will be not with a database it will be like a static thing which will be soon which i'll be showing you soon so stay tuned for it and thanks for watching